and they might be super weirded out, but, but I'm like, I might just say something like a little thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, briefly in five words. <laughs> briefly in five hours. Because <laughs> I love to talk. <laughs> I love cute rumors about people's social lives. Hello. Hello, my new friends. And we're starting the series of Ask an Extrovert, where extroverts answer questions introverts always wondered about. Question one. When making new friends, do you prefer to build deep connections for many years or stay as casual acquaintances? Something in the middle. Well, okay, I would love to make deep, deep relationships, of course. In the first steps, I don't uh, try to make some uh, long-term relationships with people. I like to have many friends, um, but I also would love to make a lot of friends. If uh, it is a, a person with uh, common ideas or uh, some, some things are, that are close to both of us, we will get some long-term relationships. But I do have a busy lifestyle, so I don't have maybe the time to have these high maintenance friends. But I don't want them to be like shallow relationships. I like deep relationships. And I know you maybe can't be like the deepest of friends with everybody, but I feel like you can still make a really deep connection with a lot of people. So I do like many friends and I do like deep relationships. I just don't like spending too much time with the exact same person. I feel like relationships I feel like you can have with very many people and it's a good thing. But in general, uh, I don't think about uh, long-term uh, things in the first steps. Is it difficult for you to talk to strangers? If I need to talk to them, no. Well, it depends. No. Usually not. In generally, not. Maybe it... Uh, it has some links with my uh, own experience uh, in j job uh, uh, things, job skills. Uh, that's why currently I, I have no uh, problem with this. But I guess there could be exceptions. Because of my work, I usually talk to strangers all the time. <laughs> when I would be in a place where I'm not comfortable, maybe a new place or a place where I'm feeling out of place? Uh, in childhood, I wasn't so a uh, communicative person. If there is maybe only older people or maybe a place where there is only men and absolutely no women, maybe I feel out of place and then I can maybe feel uncomfortable. If I'm at the grocery store and I'm buying something and someone else is buying something here, I might make casual like small talk with them and they might be super weirded out but but I'm like I might just say something like a little thing <laughs> I don't know I need the communication in order to work with them do my job but not always like sometimes it's nice to just be in your own world and walk around and kind of just like tune everything out no no but if I don't have to I don't see any reason to but I'm not necessarily like afraid to go talk with someone but uh, most of the time, I, I, I can strike up conversation pretty easily with strangers. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, briefly in five words. <laughs> briefly in five hours. <laughs> I'm Valerie. My name is Valerie and I'm from the United States. I'm from Belgium and I come from a pretty conservative family, I guess, from a small town. It's very difficult uh, question for me always. To, to say something about myself because I think that it is uh, more in, interesting to, to get feedback from uh, others. I, well, I was born in the United States and now I live in Finland with my husband. Um, so I'm studying nursing at the time. I studied to become a hairdresser because I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and then which I did. I, I did have a hair salon in Belgium. I'm married to a wonderful man. Um, I'm uh, a young person who uh, reached some uh, interesting goals in his life uh, and have some uh, aims for the future. 
I love the outdoors. I love being active. I love being with people. I'm a rather active person. I, uh, I like playing tennis. Uh, I uh, have played it since university. And uh, uh, nowadays I have the new goal to, to start to play uh, golf and to reach the summer rank in a two years, I think. And then when moving here, I decided to do hairdressing as a hobby and focus more on my family, which I now have, a wonderful husband and a daughter. I come from a big family. I have six siblings. Maybe that's had an impact on my life to have always some craziness going around in the house. So I, I really like that. I like kind of hectic places in a way. I will say that um, the person uh, um, on which you can rely in any situation and uh, I, uh, I'm ready to help others uh, if I can. And um, I work now in the same uh, daycare slash preschool as my daughter. So it gives me the availability to, to work as well as spend a lot of time with my family. So I'm very happy with my life. Born and bred Finn. <laughs> I'm 27 years old. Yeah, I'm 24 years old. I, or no, I'm sorry, I'm 25. I'm 25, I just turned 25. <laughs> I forgot my age. I always had many hobbies as well. I just have always had a lot of interest in several things. <laughs> uh, currently I live in the other country uh, and my mm, parents and my relatives mm, not with me. The relations with my uh, uh, relatives are rather important for me. And I always run out of time because I want to do it all. <laughs> it's, that's the story of my life. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I love people. That's why I study nursing. I love them. When you're at the party, why do you talk to so many people? Because <laughs> I love to talk. <laughs> when I'm at the party, why do I talk to so many people? Because most of the time when I go to party, I know a lot of people. <laughs> this <is> from, like, <laughs> have you just noticed I go around and talk to everyone? <laughs> For, for me, the communication with others gives me more energy and some uh, additional activity. That's why I try to use the opportunity to communicate with others. And I guess people also like to talk with me. <laughs> so there's a lot of people I need to catch up with. Because I think that uh, sharing some small talks uh, can... Uh, uh, you can get uh, just fun, uh, or uh, maybe it, mi uh, it uh, might be some more things. I don't know. I think it's nice for everyone to feel like noticed and everyone to feel appreciated. And so I like talking with a lot of people. I'm just genuinely interested in, in, in many people in many different types of people as well. I think it's fun to like learn from different people. I feel like everybody is an expert in something. And if you just get to know them, you can figure out like what they're an expert in or what they what they love or what they're passionate about. And it's really fun. Um, especially because of Corona time, uh, we had a um, homewarming party like a month and a half ago. And I, I just loved it. I loved seeing people I haven't seen for such a long time. Like. Something I hadn't seen for a year or two. Uh, if you uh, get in some situation where uh, you can um, communicate with others, just uh, use this. Yeah, I, ju I just enjoy to socialize. I, I love catching up. Makes me feel alive. I love good rumors about people's social lives. Could there be a reason why you wouldn't want to talk to many people at the party? Mm, maybe when I'm so tired, <laughs> I will be so tired. Mm, maybe if I'm sick, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, I have better company at the moment. After some, some maybe work or some, some, or I have some uh, um, thoughts that uh, won't let me to uh, to relax. But I can't imagine such situation. If, I've, if I'm talking to someone who's really interesting and 
it's really fun to talk with them. Maybe I wouldn't talk to more people. Maybe we would get so into a conversation that we would, I wouldn't talk to someone else. Because sometimes um, when you find, like, when you have your really good friend there, you don't need to talk to a lot of people. At least I don't need to talk to a lot of people. Of course, even though I like almost all people, there are exceptions. There are just maybe some people that I try to avoid. Because uh, during all, all my life, I think that uh, I would try to use uh, such uh, opportunities uh, in, in, more, in more effective way, not just to uh, be boring and to think about some thoughts and not to communicate and not to be active. But, you know, sometimes you need a fresh like fresh conversations. So you just go and talk to the next person that you see. If everyone knew each other and they had this, this like story going and they were all really fast interacting and it was maybe in a different language that I didn't know and I couldn't like ask more questions, maybe that's where I would be more quiet. <laughs> but yeah, the reasons I wouldn't want to talk to people, I'm lazy. I'm bored, there's no one interesting enough. But that would basically be the only reason why I wouldn't want to talk to somebody. Thank you for all the extroverts who answered and for everyone who was watching this video. If you're an extrovert, answer in the comments below your thoughts about these questions. And if you're an introvert, ask extroverts more questions. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Consider subscribing to this channel because I will be posting more and more about introverts, extroverts, psychology, all this kind of stuff. Hello there. I love it so good. And then she's screaming. I'm a mama, mama, mama. She's little like a little.